Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to load a pancake reel of tape onto one of these metal reels. It'll only work if you have this type of design where the screw fits into like a little nut on there. Now, if you don't have a metal reel, or yours doesn't take that type of pattern, like this one, which uses six screws, and I already tried off camera, it won't work with this type of reel. Or if it's plastic, it won't separate, then I'll show you what to do with that. But first, I'm going to show you how to load it up onto one of these. So you need to remove these two Phillips screws. Like this. So it's loose. Take it. Not quite loose enough. Don't lose this, save that for future use. And then you got the two nuts here. Like a special type of like double bolt thing like that. So I'm gonna line them back up. Now, take your pancake reel of tape, like right here. This is 2400 feet. Line it up with these holes right here. like that. Take it real again. Try lining it up as close as possible with the little notches in the plastic part. Take your screwdriver. You may have to use your hands to hold it down to tighten. So you might get lucky. See now it's not going to want to tighten so you're going to have to hold it. So we'll be back. There, now it's tightened again, so I just slid it over, put my hand under here to hold it up. Then tighten it down. Don't over tighten it. I'm missing one, but I'll probably order that. I might, might, might order those. And now you got 2400 feet of tape on this. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to thread it through the machine. Just like loosen it and pre-stretch it in play mode. I'll use the uh, Sony, which doesn't work for that. Now, what if, what if your reel doesn't separate? Maybe you got a plastic one that doesn't come apart, or you got another metal one that doesn't have this type of setup. How do you transfer this onto there? Because some people will take the uh, pancake reel as is and just stick it on the machine and feed it onto a reel that way. But if this falls off, that's 2,400 feet of tape or 3,600 feet, depending on the on the uh, what size you got. You, know, you ain't gonna be able to untangle that. So I'm gonna show you another way. This is how I'm doing it. Look, if your reel doesn't come apart or it won't fit, there's a NAB hub adapter on your turntable, similar to a projector. The brown side is the audio side, the black side is the back coating. So this is the side you want, just going through here, line it up like it normally would. You ain't gonna, not going to fast forward it. Wait till it's on here. And depending on your real size, this will take about an hour at seven and seven and a half inches per second. This is the easiest way to do it. Some people just take the reel as is like this and stick it on the machine. I don't trust that. Just make sure this is higher than the uh, real player so it doesn't slide off. So if your reel doesn't come apart or all you have is plastic. This is how you load a pancake reel onto a reel. Easy as this.